irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to the Power of Love Show only on LA Talk Radio. Welcome to the Power of Love. Sponsored by the Beauty Jackson Foundation, where we shine a light on loss and grief and how it impacts our lives. We are here to provide hope, resources, and a community so no one feels alone in their grief. I am TJ Jackson, and with me I have both of my brothers, Taj and Terrell Jackson. How are you guys? Hey, T. Um, we are live on The Power of Love, so if you're listening to us right now, thanks for joining us. Later on in the show, we're going to open up the phones, uh, and Twitter, of course, is always open, but we'll be opening up phones for phone calls. If you want to tweet us, if you'd rather tweet us, just tweet us at DDJ Foundation. Again, it's DDJ Foundation. Um, let's do this disclaimer real quick. We are not licensed therapists. We're just ordinary people who have experienced loss in our lives. We've been impacted by it, and we've learned from it, and we want to share our opinions and attempt to help you overcome whatever it is you're going through. With that said, uh, if you need professional help, we urge you to seek it and to find it. Do not rely on us. So... Uh, you guys, you guys want to go ahead and yeah, just um, just before we get on with the show, I uh, just um, obviously we're um, the three of us are are a bit emotional um, with the news of our grandfather's passing, Joseph Jackson, um, earlier this morning. Um, so we're so it's a little bit different shows. Our our phones are are um, you know they're. People are sending messages, and um, we're a little rattled, you know, obviously. But um, we wanted to be here um, to discuss our grandfather, to honor him, and to also um, talk about loss and grief as well. Yeah, well said. And, and before we get too far down the road, we want to thank everyone for all your messages. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the, the outpour of support and love towards us and our our grandfather and our family and, and our father and our entire family we just want to thank you all um the love has been felt and it's been you know it's it's really it does help and it makes a difference mm-hmm. so each and every one of you whether it's through text through phone calls through comments on social media we just want to uh as a family yeah. thank you all for your support no i i, I think you oh i'm loud today yeah um, I, I think you guys both said it really well. Um, still kind of processing it. Um, and But I th- think um, we, we all thought that it would be important to do this show still because mm-hmm. this is what the foundation is about. So, right. um, and um, yeah, that's why we're here. And, and um, we'll obviously start discussing, but also if you want to call in or if you want to um, tweet us, just l- let us know. Um, the call-in number is... Three two three two zero three zero eight one five, and um, to tweet us, um, I'll be man- manning the twitters like always. Um, it's at DDJ Foundation. And again, the f- the call in number, if you missed it, was three two three two zero three zero eight one five. And um, I, I think we were going back and forth whether we should even open up the phone lines, but it's also a, a ch- chance and opportunity for you know fans or listeners to to call and express. Mm-hmm. whatever they want to express um of yeah. course on topic um as Cheryl mentioned earlier the show is going to be about our grandfather and dedicated to him and uh the amazing legacy he started and i don't necessarily just mean you know jackson's and hits and you know all of that stuff i just mean as a family he really you know changed the course of so many of us family members um even even if our primary source of occupation isn't music you know it, he gave us all an opportunity that uh, most most kids um, from a generation ago wouldn't have had from where we started from, so uh, we are always going to be forever grateful. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I also want to just say that we we found out about this about his illness pretty late in the game. Yeah, so um, pretty much a few days after Father's Day. Yeah, so it was after the last episode. We didn't even know that right. our grandfather was sick when we did the last episode, mm-hmm. and so within that this week is pretty mm-hmm. much when we found out everything and, and headed over to Vegas. Do you know if he found out that later? Or we still don't know that. Don't yeah. Know. We don't, we don't know. I, 
I've heard, you know, I don't like to repeat things. I've heard mixed things. So okay. I, I don't know. Yeah. So um, last we did the show, we were supposed to have a, a celebrity or, or a charity softball game, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And obviously we postponed that when we, when we heard the news about Grandpa. Um, and that was a few days after um, Father's Day. And um, I, I'll, I'll start. For me personally, I... I um, as people know, I, I struggle with loss and grieving and all of that, and, and it was difficult. I'm working on that, and the show has helped helped so much with it. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I was hesitant, and um, Todd, you were the one that told me about Grandpa's health. Yeah. And and um, that that family would be going to see him in Vegas, and that there wasn't much time and. I, I wanted to go, but I was hesitant because I didn't want to have the, the memory and I just didn't want to face that and see him in um, in who, a weakened state. Who convinced you to go? Um, I, I wanted to go. I just, I just didn't want to go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wish I was strong enough to go. And, and ultimately, um, you know, I, I had a few friends and, and, and close family members telling me, you know, I should go, and and I knew I knew I should go, but I didn't want to go, you know. Yeah. Um. But it was it was um. It was it was actually triggered by my my post that I posted on Father's Day. I posted um a picture of Grandpa, a picture of our great grandfather Samuel, um, whose nickname is Bud, and um, that's where it started because I I remembered that i had you know very it was very light memories of of our great grandfather but i remember there's photos and and i just remember um having that opportunity to see him and have that moment with him before he passed and here it is my my two kids having an opportunity with their yeah. their great grandfather yeah so i thought it was selfish of me not yeah. to allow mm -hmm. them to have that wow That's and good. and um for whatever reasons, use that as excuse, whatever. That that's what threw me over the edge and said I need to go. So, um Real quick, you remember going to visit? Yes. I spoke to Stacy about great this. Great grandpa. A little bit. Bob? Yeah. But yeah. He's got a great yeah. memory. Yeah. I kind of remember that's what she said, vaguely, too. but but we were I saw we were, the pictures. I don't mm -hmm. really Yeah. But we were discussing that. I think it was with you, Terrell, when we were uh in Vegas a couple of days ago. We were talking about how it's important for Maybe it wasn't with you because you're looking at me. Like, no, no. Where it's important for, it was, I think it was Pops. My, you know, my father. I was talking with him how it's important for the young ones, for our yes. kids, you know, Terrell, yours and mine, to see, you know, that life isn't just, you know, baseball yeah. and video yeah. games and yeah. tennis and school and mm -hmm. life is. Um, there's, there's, you know, there's struggle in life and it's real. It's real. And it and it kind of can ground your kids and, mm -hmm. and kind of refocus them on on what life is and. And I saw that in all of our kids' eyes and faces um, a couple of days ago when they saw Grandpa, and you know, and it, 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 like you said, it's real. Yeah. So, so um, just on my way to Vegas, Tosh had told me that they were moving Grandpa from the hospital mm -hmm. to hospice and and to hurry up and and try to get there. And that's when I said I was on my way. So, on um, when I arrived, it did it did take me a while to go into the room. Because again, yeah. you know, it was hard. But I knew once I was there, I I, I would ultimately see him. And um, I'm glad. I'm so happy that I went. Um, at the time, pops pops wasn't wasn't there yet, and and he was still at home. And I was still trying, hoping, you know, that he would come yeah. because I I knew it would be good for pops as well. And and when we and when Terrell says he was at home. My, my father has a place in Vegas as well, so. But he was in L.A. still. Oh, he was still. In he was LA. still in L.A. Oh, okay. Um, and I, you know, I think Papa T and I are, are very similar in that way, where we're just very sensitive, and just don't know how to deal with things like this. And my father's dealt with so much loss in his life, and and we talked a little bit before I even went, and he mentioned how, he, you know, we shared the similarities of not wanting to have those memories and not wanting them, not wanting to see Grandpa. Yeah. in that in that state but um you know the the first day i was there I, I spent some time with my kids and i called pops to see if he was coming and he said he wasn't going to come today maybe tomorrow which i thought he was just delaying mm -hmm. but um right i was really really happy the next day um pops was was there yeah and and because he why showed you, up why were you happy Darryl? um 
I was happy that I, I was happy like me. I was I was proud of myself that I that I went. Yeah. And I was proud of of pops for for um for just I want to say winning the challenge. You know, I, I was just I was happy that despite whatever fears he had, he showed up. Yeah. And I think um I mean I had some very very life changing moments for myself. Mm -hmm. Um just being in the room, there was a time where it was just me, Papa T, Grandpa, and my two kids. Mm -hmm. So I I got to share a moment, and um, it was it was um, you know I, f I felt really bad for Pops because um, I could see the the pain mm -hmm. in in his eyes and and um, the tears, and just just having that moment with my my family and Pops and Grandpa. It's just we were all connected, and it, it was very similar to the picture. You know, it was four generations, yeah. and. Um, you know, another thing, I know I'm jumping around a little bit. Another thing I, I noticed was it really, it really affected Bryce a lot. Yeah. Um, Bryce is 10 now. Adrian, Adrian's still a little bit on the younger side, seven. So I don't think he really understands completely what's going on. Mm -hmm. But it really, um, it really affected Bryce. I think this is his first time experiencing loss. He was born when Uncle Michael passed, but still, you know, too young. But this one really affected him, and, and I could see it in his face. And you know, he um, the questions he would ask, and how he he would say things, you know, where he wish he could have more time to spend with Grandpa. And I didn't really get to know him, and it just really affected him. Yeah. And um, I'm glad that Pops could be there for Bryce. I'm glad that we all could be there for Pops. And there there was a lot a lot of family that's another thing i'm, I'm rambling maybe no, you a little do. bit You're but perfect. there was so much that that i i experienced in this this week and i learned um genevieve was was probably one of the first people i saw when i got there along with you Taj. um but she was amazing and i learned i learned something about about women about girls having daughters they're just they're different than us men you know <laughs> and i think i mentioned that to you tj oh yeah um when i was when i was afraid i was asking genevieve questions you know was it hard for you to come and and how is he and is it difficult and she was just very very comforting and um she made it easy for me to go in there and see grandpa and she she just really helped me get through there, yeah. you know, and, and that's a, a big part of me being able to go in the room was, was because Genevieve was there and wow. she went right up to him. Does she even know that? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just saw the way, she, I, I just saw the way she was, you yeah. know, and it just, it, it made, it put a lot of fears. It, it just erased a lot of my fears. It made me feel comfortable. And I don't know if she knew she was doing that. Yeah. It was just her being natural and just caring for grandpa and, and you know, um, I was able to hold his hand and just talk to him, and she made a lot of that easier for me. We spoke about that, right, Taj? How women was it with you? No, it was with me. It was with you when we were yeah, walking in the me. hallway. Yeah, it was with how me. how girls and you know it's the motion. Yeah, we talked about daughters okay. having daughters. Yeah, and how how their love is so different. Okay, <laughs> from men. But um, you know, it was it was just um. There was a lot, a lot of love, and yeah. and one of the things I noticed because I got there on Sunday, or I got there on Saturday, and I I left late last night. Um, one of the things I noticed, and there was so much family, so many family members coming, um, you know, just fly, either flying in, driving up, so many, just every yeah. day it was something, and um, yesterday I was I was concerned because we were told it wasn't, you know, there was maybe 40 hours or less mm. and i was concerned um i was concerned about grandma yeah. because there had been so many people coming and going i didn't want it to be you know so little people but yet again you know i went there early in the morning and um i saw more family from arkansas i saw uncle luther you know my grandfather's mm -hmm. brother um i saw him and his family and and until uh Auntie Lulu's daughter Wendell, and just so many family members, and you know, I saw all these. I I met all these people when I was younger, but it was it's hard <laughs> yeah. to know who's who. But I really got to talk to them all and and really understand the connection and who's who and how the whole connection is. And and um, I even saw a great uh, a picture of uh, Grandpa's grandfather. Oh wow! His name's wow. Nero, Nero Jackson. How do you spell that? I believe it's N E R O, oh, wow. but that's Samuel, uh, great grandfather Samuel's wow. father. So it's just um, there was you, a lot of family there, a lot of love. 
And, and it helped you, obviously, it with helped. the situation because it, it gives you some type of, again, yes. a connection. Yes. It, it let you, a kind of small community, a family community. Because um, that's something I experienced when I was there. It was, there was a lot of family. Mm-hmm. And as obviously tough and, and you know, just basically such a tough situation. You know, it's there's nothing pleasant about it. Um, but having family around and, and having loved ones and, and going through, through it together definitely eased it a bit. Um, but I, I, I completely agree with you, Tara. I think that, that it, I didn't really hesitate like you did to go. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, it doesn't hit me as, it hits me differently than yeah. I think it does you. And I never really second guessed going or anything, right. you know, because I didn't have that, those kind of fears. Um, you know, I just wanted to say my love and, and pay my respects to grandpa. And, and like you said, make sure my kids understand and respect and my whole family understand and respect uh, who he is, you know, and especially when our situation, when he's a public figure, because yeah. if not, if if you don't get those experiences, you'll just let the media and what history will write about who he was mm-hmm. and they'll run with that. And, and as we always know, they're always going to try to give you a, a, a dirtier version to make it more controversial, to make it more easy to, you know, talk about. Right. Right. Um, but our grandfather, you know, wasn't a perfect man, but at Mm-mm. the same time, if it wasn't for him and and what he achieved, um, you know, our family could be much different. Yeah. You know what Way I mean? Different. Way different. You know, gangs, drugs, mm-hmm. um, all that stuff. You know, and 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 it was because of him and obviously our grandmother, but he played a role too. You know, our yeah. grandmother, rightfully so, gets all a lot of attention because of her love. She's the most loving person I've ever known. Um, but our grandfather also played his role in making sure we are strong and tough because for what most of us do, music, it's not an easy industry. You know, it's it, you have to have thick, strong skin. And, and I think we kind of got that from our grandfather. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that because, as we mentioned in, in the post, that this past week was also the anniversary of Uncle Michael's passing. Yeah. And um, obviously there's a lot of love. And, and I started thinking about uncle michael and his impact on the world and you know um i just started thinking about grandpa as well yeah and how with with um with uncle michael's success it 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 took the combination of of grandpa's drive and and when you think of uncle michael you think of his drive just to be better and to strive for perfection and you know his 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 moves are flawless. It's, it looks so simple, but you know the work he put into it. Yeah. Um, and that comes from Grandpa. Yeah. You know, it comes from Grandpa. Um, and then the love, a lot of it comes, you know, mostly is, is Grandma. Yeah. So it's like you put the two together, and, and that's that's really the magic, I, I believe, yeah. in, in Uncle Michael. Without Grandpa or without the other, you don't, you don't get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it took both. Yeah. And um, I thought about that, how... how Uncle Michael would practice and to the point where he couldn't crawl up the stairs, you know what I mean? Yeah. To get to his room, he'd just work and work and work. And, and that was instilled in him through Grandpa, just, you know, always trying to get it right. And you see all these posts of, of Uncle Michael. You can see a post of Uncle Michael. I, I've seen one where he's doing a move in, in Billie Jean, and it's like one is from one concert oh, yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. The other is in, from another, like, few years it's later. The and years, they're perfectly yeah. in sync. Yeah, they're just perfectly in sync, but that's that commitment and that drive, and that's what makes MJ MJ. Um, but there was just uh, there's just little things that were were interesting to me. Um, my first day seeing Grandpa was was difficult, as I talked about earlier, and you know I didn't even have a place to stay. I didn't, I didn't know where I was staying, and I was looking for places. And Charles was at the Hard Rock. He's like, just go to the Hard Rock. So I said, you're gonna end up at the Hard Rock. I ended up at the Hard Rock. So. I don't know. Have you been lately to the Hard Rock? I haven't been. So lately. the Hard Rock, it has, you know, it's all music. Yeah. It's all music themed. And on the doors, they have different guitars. Right? They have no. They have no. different celebrities on the doors. So it might oh. be like you know, Aerosmith musicians, on one yeah. musicians and things. And okay. I remember we were going to our room, and I I passed a door with Uncle Michael on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, oh, that would have been cool if I got Uncle Michael's room. But the boys are running in front, you know, running trying to find out what room we're at and. They're trying to find the number, and we finally get to the number, and they're like, "It's Uncle Michael, it's Uncle Michael." So we got to the door; it was Uncle Michael again. Oh wow! So that was that was a, another sign. I mean, I don't that stuff happens so often with me 
<laughs> that I don't feel it's coincidence. Yeah. But it just made me made me feel better um, that he was with me again. And um, another thing that I thought was interesting is, and this happened after the password. Well, I don't think it's still. The password was Iron Rose. And I thought about that. It's like Iron and Rose. It was the same connection, you know, mm-hmm. for a lot of it. Well, the, the other thing I, I wanted to say, too, was the, the there was an article I saw, um, and, it, and it talked about, I don't know from where, but it was talking about how the world without Grandpa would be much different. Yes. And, yes. and that is so you, accurate. I would love to see that. Um, it, it was really <coughs> profound. I mean, yeah. I mean. And and from the from the surface of it, you think okay, so there wouldn't be Jackson Five, there wouldn't be Michael, there wouldn't be Janet, but let's be honest, <laughs> they also paved the way in pop culture mm-hmm. in a variety of ways, from music videos to you know even a lot of today's stars from Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, yes. Usher, all of them, you know, credit and MTV and, wouldn't be MTV exactly, right. and they patent off of uh, off of Uncle Michael mm-hmm. and Auntie Janet, and they rightfully admit it, but imagine without that those figures to to kind of patent off of we our our source of entertainment would look a lot different without our grandfather and we and we have um you know obviously when the jackson five and the jacksons were doing their thing we were a lot younger don't really grasp it as well yeah but we have a lot of older friends in the industry and not in the industry that constantly tell us the impact of our family and and just the jackson five and how our grandfather, I mean, people have said like, you know, Papa Joe's like fathers to all uh, black families. You know, yeah. he was like the father for all of us. It just, it was the the, the black family music and just, um, you know, even today on my way here, I was talking to a friend and he mentioned how people were posting things up and just sending their condolences and, and sharing stories and how the, the impact that yeah. the family had on their lives. So it's, it's very much like you said, it's just not just... Um, it's it's everywhere, and it's not just local news. It's it's all around the world. I mean, think about it. during the, that time period, you know, the late sixties, right, mm-hmm. uh, mid sixties, uh, a, a black man in in Indiana, mm-hmm. in Gary Indiana, Gary yeah. Indiana, yeah. that yeah. is is trying to make his sons, you know, legends, and and I'm sure that's what he was proclaiming that's what he was saying they're going to be the next big thing and people were probably this guy's crazy that. and I, I thought about all the sorry for interrupting yeah, but i good. thought about um exactly what you're saying and how many people would ridicule them and say you're Absolutely. not going anywhere and what are you doing and you're going to ruin your, your children's but lives you know what too Terrell, you got to understand that he it's not like he came from wealth or money. Mm-hmm. so the, the amount of risk and gamble mm-hmm. he put into he believed he, of what he believed and the conviction i think gets gets lost a lot you know it wasn't like they were born in la middle mm-hmm. class family <laughs> you know and it just happened to be you know a father who groomed his five they they came from a different world a real world mm-hmm. you know where where the still during mills. tough times yeah. too still, during tough times and and to me that's 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 the strength you know and the well, toughness yeah well pop said it best way back in the day he's like most of my friends from that time period are either dead or on drugs mm-hmm. and um that's that's not uh you know opinion that's pretty much a statistic yeah, like, yeah, yeah i mean so i think grandpa knew that and knew what his his boys could could basically end up being and music was their way out and he was the one that saw the vision and and you know what it's time to really give him props for that because he did this during the prime, as I said in my recent post. This was the prime years of his life, you know, his 30s. And that's when you you went through a lot of hardship and failures. And that's when a lot of people, you know, really excel in their own careers and is in the 30s and 40s. And he was dedicating his life into his kids' success and setting up his family. Not just his kids, fa- you know, but his grandkids. Because if you could launch your, yeah. your your kids and make sure that not only successfully from a professional aspect, but as humans and people, uh, it carries on past generations. And, you know, I, I I don't know. It's just nothing but love. It's nothing but love. Can I ask you guys, what's your, what was your favorite uh, memory? Of Grandpa? Of, with Grandpa. Of Grandpa. What's but do you favorite? mean of, like, recent or are you talking about I just mean, in general? In general. Um, for, there's a couple for me. I, I, I luckily... 
there was a time that I spent in Germany with him on a trip with him and Uncle Jermaine. That um, <laughs> was it. Like ten years ago. Longer than that. Fifteen. Because I didn't have braids in at the time. <laughs> I know that, and it it was one of the best experiences I had. Why? I've said this before though, too. So it's not like I'm saying it now only. I, I don't know this because uh, because I got to know Grandpa. You know, not j- you know behind the scenes, Grandpa just. And um, the jokes there, the prank. Well, 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 he's always. I mean, that's just. <laughs> we we always, you know, the family jokes about Jackson Blood, and and, and when it comes pranking. to pranking and jokes, that's Grandpa. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. you know that's running through our our veins. But I just saw you know the the love he had for the family and the pride he had for the family name, and I think that was what he understood what this family had done for the world, and he it gave him so much pride in it and at the same time it's like he looked at the younger generations like us and and your your kids and my kid when when she comes she, they he looked at them as continuing the legacy mm-hmm. and i can't tell you how many times he asked about 3t and because you know remember yeah. he went on tour with us yeah and terrell probably has that story or something <laughs> about you know the first time he saw us perform you know but it's like that that for me like just that Jackson pride, I would say, is what I remember a lot about him in terms of it. It was a name for him, but it also was a badge of honor. Yeah, and he and he wore it, and and I think he got he's he gets a bad shake because he basically for him it was everything. It was it was important because he knew about legacy and he knew about making an impact in the world, and so and he did. Yeah, and so. I would say that was number one. Number okay. two, um, all, I would always go to Vegas uh, to go to uh, Convention. conventions, and so I got to spend days with him. Like before, before um, I would say at his place. This is when I was like young, like in the twenties, you know. And it was just, it was always fun with him, you know. He he's different, you know, and that was the thing. Like he, come here, boy, you know, and all that stuff. And then, he just, and then even la- his laugh is. You know, he has he had such a funny laugh. You yeah. know, it's like very, it's just funny. But I I think for me that was, I got to spend time. It's it's the time you get to yeah. spend with him. Yeah. But yeah, so I would say that, and then you guys have mentioned the tour thing. If you want to, well, yeah. f- for me it was when we went to uh, when we were in Vegas. I was probably seventeen, eighteen, right when Three T was taking off, and anything was mm-hmm. a huge song and and. You know, that's a great one. many places but we were in Vegas doing promotion and grandpa lived in Vegas so he joined us for that day of promotion and we went to a radio station and and that just, was awesome just seeing it just seeing the, the the proudness in his face when we were doing our interview and and you know just talking and we had a, a huge hit single and just seeing that it had started from him and seeing the absolute uh What's the word? Just the absolute happiness and his the mm-hmm. bliss in his eyes from everything he started decades ago. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it was really cool, and it was just a cool side of Grandpa I never really got to experience, uh, or at least I didn't remember, uh, where he was just so happy and and just in this great mood because of something we had done. I remember that. I remember yeah. that because we were on our way to the radio station. And they were announcing that we're on our way down, and they played our song, and we looked to the right, and that person was singing our song. Do you remember? I do. In the car. So that was that was really (laughs) cool because it was it was like pops is taking us, just like grandpa Grandpa took them, taking the boys. Yeah, I remember that moment very well. It was a great moment. Um, For me, I mean, there's 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 several memories I have. I remember talking about boxing with them because grandpa loved boxing. We talked about Floyd Mayweather and Roy Jones. (laughs) And um, just a lot of a lot of back boxers, and um, back when we were younger, just going down because we lived down the street from Havenhurst. Yeah. <laughs> just um, when we see him, we'd always cover our heads because he'd always give us a thumb. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes yeah. he would rub your head, but you didn't laugh. know if it was coming. <laughs> yeah, and then you hear Grandma, "Don't do that, Joe." It's just <laughs> funny, but you know it's, it's okay, Kate. Um, but it was always fun with him, and and um, you know sometimes he would put his hands on like grab a peanut, but it be his thumb. Yeah, you know things, tricks, just little silly tricks like that. Um, but I think one for me, one of the proudest moments for me was was like Taj you mentioned before when um, Grandma and Grandpa joined us for um, for for a little bit on the Brotherhood In tour. England, right? Yeah, it was um, England. I think they also went to Germany with this as well because um, they were there for a while, and. Um, 
I'll never forget Grandma telling telling us how um, Grandpa was crying. Wow. Mm-hmm. And Grandpa doesn't show emotion like that. Um, but she said she looked over to him, and he had a tear in his eyes. And um, he was proud. And yeah. she wanted us to know that. And that just that just meant a lot to me for um wow. for obvious reasons it just it just made me feel like you know we were continuing something, and I knew he was proud of us and and I just I, that 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 was a moment I always remember yeah, that's great. um we are live on the power of love show uh discussing our grandfather um if you want to chime in with uh comments, any stories you may have um give us a call at three two three two zero three zero eight one five Again, it's three two three two zero three zero eight one five. I've been seeing some calls coming through, but uh, now I think we're ready to start taking some calls. Yeah. Um, real quick before. Yes. Uh, um, there's two things. One one of the things is that um, definitely with pops, that was that was important for me to have him there. Um, not it was more for the regret factor. I was really worried for pops in that way. Have um, him where? Um, uh, 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 um, to go Vegas. to Vegas. Okay. To go to Vegas. To see Grandpa. And and I understood both. I understood Pops not wanting to see his dad in that situation, in that yeah. state. But I also knew Pops, and I knew that, you know. It would help. It would help him. And also, I didn't want him to ever regret it. Yeah. Because regret could be worse than yeah. the actual thing itself. And, um, and both of us right. would talk, talk to him for um you know about it and stuff like that. And I was I was very proud when he when yeah. he showed up because to that point it was like, is he going to come or not? But it 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 made me kind of tear up because I was like, you know, because I know how hard it was for pops to step through there and and see grandpa. But at the same time, I knew it was good for him. Yeah, and just real quick, you you asked me what was the deciding factor. Um, there was there was a few deciding factors, you know, that helped me um, make that decision to go. It was. I don't want to sound selfish, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And I knew I was probably being in a selfish position, but a lot of times we worry about, you know, I don't want to see the person in that condition. I think it was also very important for my grandfather yes. to, to see me oh, yeah, and my good. children. And that's how. And I yeah. think it was important for, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with all the, the family that showed up. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, Great I, point. I, I, yeah. I can't believe how many, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that the members showed up yeah. like pretty much everybody showed yeah. up for grandpa. Yeah. And I think that means a lot to him. Yeah. And, um, I'm happy that he got to see and feel and hear people. The love, um, the love. Yeah. He got to really see yeah. that we loved him and got to see how many people cared yeah. about and him. And that we were thankful. Yeah. Appreciated yeah. him. Yeah. All right. We have a uh, several phone calls, but I just answered one. So who do we have on the line with us today? Hi. It's me. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. First, I would like to say, um, can I send my condolences to your family. Um, you guys brought up very interesting points when you said your grandfather really represented a lot of the black community and its fathers. That's why when I saw Joseph anywhere, he reminded me of my father. So. He created a huge legacy uh, when he had got your father and uncle together, and now, now they have you, and then there's other uh, siblings or grandchildren that are doing things out there. You guys have really impacted so many people's lives just because of your grandfather. Mm-hmm. This show mm-hmm. is a huge example of that, and that's one of the things I really wanted to tell you guys. I, if you only knew how proud and how much guts it had to take for you guys to come on this show and do this today. I wasn't expecting you guys to be on today, Mm -hmm. and I think I must really commend you guys for coming on, talking, getting it out, talking about the beautiful things that your grandfather did, your uh, times with him. I will say, Carol, your post, that one actually made me cry because I know how Mm -hmm. that is. uh, that, That image you captured is an image that you should cherish. I would print that picture out, keep it. That's a beautiful mm-hmm. picture. Yeah. Todd, you're a great person as far as standing up for your family. TJ, you're always, you, you always seem strong. But like I said, I, I'm just really so proud of you guys for what you're doing. And never doubt 
that your grandfather was in love. We who cannot love the man who created such a great family. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to let you guys know I really do offer my condolences to thank you, you for guys. Saying that. that is such thank you so much, Merritt. That is so sweet of you and um I just really appreciate your call and, and your comments and and thank you supporting us yeah. and supporting us. Um, you know, Meredith, I'm gonna let you go, but thank you again because I want to piggyback off something you said. But thank you so much for calling in and and being the first to call in. Okay, take care, guys. All right, take thank care. You. you know, Meredith brought up something that I wanted to kind of t- uh, piggyback on. Is she said that, and it's funny. Some couple of the guys at the radio station, even the the the, the valet. Um, our, our, our boy down there was saying that um, they didn't expect us to come in. Yeah, they didn't think we would come in. And for me, it was maybe this is the new me. You know, maybe yeah. five years ago I wouldn't have come in. You know, mm-hmm. but I've learned with grief and and tough times, the best thing you could do is is continue on and and just uh, make someone honor the person. And and get it out, discuss mm-hmm. because if you keep everything in and and you know hide and isolate yourself that's when you can get in trouble um on your own i think it i think it comes down to love and it's, yeah. it's like we say the power of love um the pi- the picture i posted I, I people may think that i should have probably kept that for myself you know but um a lot of things that i do now i do for I mean, obviously, I do for myself and my family, but I do it to help others. Mm-hmm. You know, I do it to help others. If there's a, if there's an opportunity that I can help somebody, I, I take it. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, I was there in Vegas for a while, and and pretty much the main reason I came back was so I can be here for the show and talk about the experience and Grandpa yeah. and and help others. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, you said like the new you. I feel um, after doing this show for maybe a year or so, year and a half, it's it's definitely helped me. I don't think yeah. had I not been doing this show, I don't think I don't even know if I would have went. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. So it's definitely <laughs> helping. Last last week we had callers tell us how much this show helps them. Yeah, you know. But we also mentioned it helps us. You know, because we're all we all have to go through it. It's not an easy topic. It's not something that you know you. you you bring up out of nowhere and just enjoy talking about it's hard but you have to go through it it's part of life and we're all working on becoming better at it yeah and i i think also it was important for us to go on this show too because there's been a lot of misconceptions about the family's relationship with our grandpa and um i think that was the hardest thing for me was reading some of the comments and people telling me how what my relationship was with my grandfather telling exactly. me what our family's relationship with my grandfather mm-hmm. was and and that that's hard to see you know and and, and it just because gets spread you, and if you don't comment on it quickly enough then it kind of gets etched as fact yeah and and, right. and 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 i started seeing that pattern so that's why I, I did comment on twitter about it because it bothered me because you know People kind of just regurgitate whatever they hear and read. I haven't gotten there yet, Taj. I mean, it's things that go far away, long. If then you I'll, don't, then I'll if comment. you don't nip it in the butt. But some it's, things I, I've it's I've learned this this I know, world. I got to get there. This it's an, it's a different world. Before people would be like, well, I don't know. Now people just believe it if it's yeah. there and if it's printed. It becomes the truth. It becomes the truth, and I wasn't going to let that happen to Grandpa. All right, we the phones are are okay. blowing up, so let's try to get to some of these. Who do we have on the line with us? Hi, this is Ebony from Texas. How you doing, Hi, Ebony? I'm doing fine, but I should be asking you guys that, mm-hmm. like, first of all, my condolences. I mean, like Meredith was talking about, I didn't expect you guys to, you know, do a show today yeah. with the, you know, with the passing of your grandfather. And I have to commend you know, your strength on doing this. Thank you. Because this would be like the time where family comes together to grieve. Like, mm-hmm. I've been there. It's been over three years for me. And I am just really astounded by how strong you guys are right now. Mm, yeah. So, well, um, and oh, go ahead. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, we we spent the last three or four days <laughs> together with our yeah. grandfather, and we will be you know, uh, yeah. reuniting with our family mm-hmm. later today once everyone digests. But go ahead, I didn't want to cut you off either. So go ahead. Okay, and l- like you were saying, Todd, I think it's a bit ridiculous that you have to. You know, 
like to defend because people want to say certain things about what your grandfather did in the past, but it doesn't matter. Mm. I mean, clear. I mean, clearly he was loved and he loved everyone yeah. in the family. So like, I, I don't get why people feel the need to just, you know, talk bad, it, like, especially when they just pass. I mean, it's, completely disrespectful well, yeah Ooh, well, we were talking about that in the last episode yeah, we talked about, <laughs> about the lack week. of empathy and and you know us as human beings are we just not empathetic it's, anymore it's just insensitive to other mm-hmm. people and uh, the last thing i would do is if someone had passed you know that i didn't know would be go on a message board and comment about it yeah. you know i mean i was reading horrible stuff like burn in hell you know like yeah. who what human being writes that yeah, but that's just when they don't even know him. of their pain and stuff. Yeah, or good riddance, or or good, you yeah. know, with the hand clap. That's what we that's what we uh, talked about last week. It's just that's just um, not what yeah. you want to read when you know. I was reading to see you know support, and that's what I was. I didn't get a lot of that, but still, you know, as we were talking about, but, it only takes one out of yeah, ten. That's what sticks to, out to stick out and be like, I can't believe that, and that's exactly why I didn't read any yeah. of them. Yeah, but um, mm-hmm. yeah. I was gonna say something. But yeah, but I'm so yeah, but I'm so glad you said something, Taj, because I, I, yeah. now it's not the time for that. I it's mean, not the time it's, for that. it's completely disrespectful. I, I mean, I didn't like it one bit. So thank you. I'm yeah. like the man just passed, and despite what what despite what may have happened, first off, it's none of your your business. Mm. Two, you don't know him yeah. for that matter, and I'm just really sorry you have to yeah. go through that. Well, during this, you know, this time. I, I hate to say it, but that's kind of par for the course for us. I think yeah. we've experienced, you know, Everyone e- even from our... Everyone thinks they have a vote in our family. Yeah, I mean, even from when my mother passed, I would read and, and hear about stories, or even from, you know, the trials of my uncle just hearing garbage, and you just got to have to have thick skin and, and kind of see past that. Um, it's unfortunate right. that in a time like this that those comments are still being made, but like I was saying, I think it's just... Uh, unfortunate reflection of of what that person is going through or what that person's been through um but ebony thank you so much for the phone call mm-hmm. um and yeah, thank we you. really appreciate all your support and that's that's oh good. you're welcome just you know be strong we're all here with you you're in our thoughts and prayers thank you you know just, thank you all right thank you all right thank you so much bye 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 oh wow um yeah you got no, it's, it's, it's it goes it, it's difficult because at first Taja I was at on one hand it's like you don't want to f- fuel the fire yeah. and you don't want to say anything because that's in a way what they want but at the same time if you don't it just piles on if you yeah. don't and it's yeah. and it's hard it's really hard because I mean that's your family yeah and that's you're you're protecting and and it's not easy to just let it go because you want to say something you know yeah hello. Hi, who do we have on the line with us? This, this is Carol. My heart goes out to you today, and you you guys are very brave for being on the air today. Thank you. Oh, you know, I don't know if I could do that, you mm-hmm. know, and all that. And and I'm remembering when my mom passed, it was like I got really dehydrated, and so try to drink water so, wow. you know, you can be, you know, yeah. you yeah. know, you're going to have good days and bad days. And that's taking really a sip normal. right now <laughs> as we speak of water. It's, it's interesting you say that, though, because, Terrell, this was the first time you actually took water. Or at least I've noticed you taking water in the in the, in the the show. Normally, I feel I mean, like you don't. Wow. Yeah, usually, I guess not. He doesn't. That's ask, a good point. Because we were asked oh, if Carol, we want any water, and Terrell, Terrell didn't hesitate. He said, yeah, I'll take some. So <laughs> I, I didn't even realize that. So there's probably definitely a yeah. lot of truth to that. And I gave up caffeine like five or six weeks ago. Mm-hmm. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations good. Yeah, and it's like I'm tr- I'm losing a, a few pounds and everything, and I'm feeling better. So, but mm. it's you're gonna have good days and bad days, and that's normal and everything. And it's yeah. you know grieving's gonna come in waves and everything. So yeah. I just want to let you know that. And, yeah. and it's it must be so hard when people make bad comments and everything, and you don't need that right now. And yeah. you know you just need to be built up and courage and everything. And mm-hmm. um, but it's so neat how your grandfather had. Um, children and grandchildren and great grandchildren, mm-hmm. you got to see them. It's yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. But grief is never easy. Never thank is so easy, much. but thank you so much for the call, Carol. I'm going to try to get one more call in before we have to wrap Okay, take care. Show. But thank you and so much. I'll be playing for you. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, you so much. 
Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Carol's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think I'm I'm about to. Sorry, you guys. I, I'm. I may well, be fumbling while, something. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, yeah. um, do we have any things you wanted to share? No, there's just a, a lot of condolences and okay. stuff like that. But I think. For me, I've taken a different approach on things. I yeah. used to be very, you know, me, I was easygoing, but passive. Yeah, passive. But at the end of the day, your legacy is what's written about you. Yeah. What we know from Beethoven, Mozart, Debussy, Michelangelo is only what's written about them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to defend what's written about you. And that's why, you know, with Grandpa, I was like, I didn't want that to be the narrative yeah. when, uh, p from people that don't even know him. Good. Right. Point. All right, so we have another phone call. Who's on the line with us? Hi, this is Lindsay Taylor. Hi, Hi how Liz. are you? I'm good. How are you? I was actually, well, first of all, I was calling to offer my condolences about your grandfather. Oh, uh, thank, thank you. I'm so, so sorry. Much. Thank you. I was actually supposed to be your guest today, and so I just wanted to let you know that I thought it was really incredible and brave that you are still doing the podcast and paying tribute to him today. And I'm so sorry that you are fielding opinions in the middle of all of that. I know how difficult that can be. And so I just wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you. Oh, that's oh, so you sweet. So much. Thank you for the phone call. And, and thank you for understanding mm -hmm. the and rescheduling yeah. and being flexible. And Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we'll, and we'll, we'll be seeing you soon for, uh, I think it's in, we're in August now, right? We are in August, okay. and uh, you don't need to be sorry for a second. I already was, I knew this could be a possibility, and um, I'm just glad to be able to connect with you and be able to support and encourage you during this time. Um, opinions don't really matter. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult no matter what you're feeling right now, and I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. So, thank, thank you for you. the understanding, and, and we'll see you in a little over a month. We'll see you soon. Thanks again. All right. Take thank care. You. Take care. That was sweet. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, um, really sweet. Yeah. 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 Okay, so anything else you guys want to... Uh, I mean, we still have some... I can answer some more. Yeah, we, well, we have. We only have a few but I, more minutes. Um, maybe we should just finish the... Our thoughts? Yeah, our thoughts and, and how we uh, will remember Grandpa and his legacy and, you know, what he should be known for. You want to start, Taj, or...? Um, yeah, I mean, for me, the the thing was, and I I know it's extremely personal, but you know, I did um, have the opportunity to thank Grandpa, and I think that was the thing. I just thanked him for being the um, the strength for this family, and thanked him for the the drive that he had, and and for having that vision, because as you said in your post, which I I really liked as well, and TJ, your post was great too, was that. This is, you know, people forget that this man was, you know, with the help of grandma was the one that built this foundation. And grandma might have been the glue that held the foundation together, but grandpa was the bricks that, you know, yeah. the strength yeah. that yeah, the foundation really cool. was built on. And, and that's how I feel. And um, I think that was very important for me to, to be there, to, yeah. you know. So, yeah. um, for me, it, it's... Um, it's 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 uh just thankful um he basically he he made the jackson name meaningful you know um yeah. we're all human obviously but um to say i'm a jackson it, it has a different meaning to many now because because of a dream that my grandfather basically had and and regardless of being ridiculed uh people doubting him he stuck by it. He believed in himself. He believed in his children and his family. And, um, you know, to, to say that you, you brought children from Gary, Indiana to Hall of Famers, the careers that they have. And not only that, it's just the impact on the world, the mm -hmm. impact and the love. And, um, you know, our, our, us being here right now is a result of Grandpa, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. giving us all a platform. And um, you know, you take that and you add grandma's love and it's it's um it's to me it's magical and, and you can see it and feel it everywhere. Yeah. So I thank him for that and um, you know, I, I will teach my boys um to be strong like him and I think that's another thing, his strength. 
you know yeah. being in this in this industry there's like you say there's so much stuff written about us and so many things and rumors that our family has gone through and without that strength i don't know if you survive that you know so every it took everything you know it was a perfect match for everything to happen uh i'll go real quick mm -hmm. um obviously everything you guys said but um i just think not only strength for the career wise but just strength in, in human and in, in us as people um to me it stems from one source and that's grandpa and mm -hmm. you know pops you know was, yeah. was a strict father and and kept us in line and i'm forever thankful for that i'm not you know upset yeah. about it i'm happy i had that strength behind me um so and like you guys said i was happy to, to say goodbye to grandpa and just let him know how much i love him and and how much he meant to me um so in that way i feel blessed to be able to do that because many you know even with mom and uncle michael we didn't get that opportunity mm -hmm. um but we're running out of time and we do have one more phone call that we definitely should take uh uh, who's with us right now on the phone? Hello? Hey, uh, hey TJ, this is uh, Papa T. Yeah, hey, hey Pops, Pops, how hey, are Pops. you? We, Pops, we got, uh, we got about three minutes, uh, but go ahead. You could, you could go ahead. You, you got your time. We got about three minutes, but oh, say what you want to say, Pops. Well, I'm, I'm here in Malibu Beach uh, looking over the ocean with that very pop. So it's a very sad day, a very hard day for me. But uh, I just want the people out there who are listening to know that my father was a very special man, very man. and uh, he did everything the best way he could how. As an older person that was born in 1928, you know, I think he did a fabulous job, especially with his son, and that tradition carries on. And uh, I think we need more fathers with a stricter uh, 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 rule, you know, because the world is going crazy. It's just totally out of, out, of, out of control. But my father was the person that knew what he wanted for his boy and his family and he stuck to his plan and his dreams. And we're all very proud and happy that our father was the man he was and what he did to us. It's very special. We're so proud to have that and to share that with the world. So to hear things that are not positive or not like okay. Time, especially right now. But uh, God bless him. And I love him. And I got a chance to speak with him a few days ago and uh, told him uh, thank you for, uh, for all the love that he shared and talked with him. Because I know for sure without my father, I wouldn't plan to end it today that would have the life that I have today. So I had my whole life is dedicated to my father. I love him very much. So I'd just like to thank you guys, three team, for recognizing that uh, your grandfather was a great man. Share your love, your dreams, and all of your memories of your work with us. Thank you. Very nice guys. Very nice guys. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Pops. Thank you. Uh, Pops, your phone's starting to cut out, but the, the oh. main... Can you hear me, Pops? Your phone's starting to cut out, but the main thing I want to okay. share to our listeners is you said it right. For a man born in 1928, he he you know he did the best he knew how to, and in those times were different too. Mm -hmm. And as we've been not saying, only, all those you know when you when you're a kid, everyone always thinks that you're getting a, a a a punishment unfairly. But when you look back on it, and you get older and look at the scenario, you deserved it, mm -hmm. and and it makes you a better person yeah. for the future. And, and 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 that's what my father was about, you know. And he was a great man. I wish there was more men like him because he was a real man. Yeah. <laughs> he let you know what he think and how he thought it and why he thought it. We need more people with that honesty today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, yeah. Pops. And it, it was a great surprise to, to yeah. have you call in and, 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 and chime in. And we love you so much, Pops. And we're here for you. And we are yeah. here for you. Thank you. And we're, our Thank thoughts you. are with you. you. We've been thinking about you all, mm -hmm. all morning as well. Yeah. And we love you. Yeah. Love you guys too. Take care. Okay, Pops. Right, Pops. We'll talk right. to you later, okay, Pops. Bye, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm so happy he called in and shared that. But but Pop said it best. You know, I think every father does the best they can. Um, mm. You know, every father is going to make mistakes. But if you look at my grandfather, our grandfather, he did an amazing job. For the time period and where they came from, he did it unbelievable yes, job. Yes, he did. And you could talk to a, 
all his kids, and they would agree with that. Mm-hmm. And even same with the grandkids. His whole yeah. family was there with them. So we got to close out the show, though. Yeah. Um, and it feels a little weird closing yeah, it, but yeah. we just want to thank everyone for their support and again their well wishes and and everything they've done, sending their condolences. It, it all helps. So we appreciate all our listeners and everyone who is who's um, who following us. And thank you to uh, DDJF and everybody that was understanding and changing their schedules to make you know yeah for, for the last few yeah for the charity game and and for the show today. But that's it, you guys. Um, we love you, Grandpa. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Rest easy. Mm-hmm. Um, and until next time, we love you so much. And I, I guess we'll close the show on that. We will see everyone, or you'll hear us, everyone, next Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And thanks for tuning in. And um, just remember that life is precious. So make sure you spend your time with your loved ones and you tell your loved ones you love them. And, 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 and that's all I think I want to say. Yeah. That. So we the love hawk, you, Grandpa. The hawk was strong. The hawk was strong. Hawk we love strong you. Strong we know. All right, you guys. Have a good day. Thank you for listening to The Power of Love. We are here to provide hope, resources, and a community so no one feels alone in their grief. Support for our Power of Love radio show comes from a variety of generous donors, including supporters from institutions, individuals, and corporations through the D.D. Jackson Foundation. DDJF is a nonprofit 501c3 organization.